morning, everybody. Uh, I wanted to start an art channel to help uh, beginners and novices at uh, the art of art, the art of drawing. Particularly, uh, I love to draw different animals. I think that uh, they're one of the best creations on this earth and that every animal is really unique and special. Uh, in this particular video, I, I wanted to draw a horse. I was riding a horse a few weeks ago with my wife and I was trying to really capture what makes a horse move? What makes it a horse? What, uh, what is it about the horse that just makes it so beautiful? You know, versus something ugly like the moose, where it's just such a dramatic difference. So uh, let, let's go ahead and start. Uh, I have a, a purple marker here. You can buy one at Target or Walmart. And uh, first thing that we do with every drawing of a horse, now I, I don't pretend to be a master at drawing horses or to have one grand way of doing it. You know, everybody's a little bit different, but I've gotten several compliments on my horse drawing. And this is just something that I wanted to share. I want to start with what uh, I believe people call uh, the front part, the, the mouth of the horse, the beak, the beak of the horse. I wanted to draw the beak of the horse. Um, so let's start with that. <clears throat> always start with the mouth of every creature that I draw. Every horse has teeth. Let's go ahead and just give it, we don't have to be precise. Whenever people are looking at museums and looking at different paintings, no one really pays attention to the detail, so don't worry too much about that. But just give it a general, general mouth. Horses usually have pretty big teeth. They're really quite ugly animals, but we're going to go ahead and give it a nose, then the head. Ah, it's perfect. Yes. This is exactly what I wanted. Every horse has an eye. Let's just give it a, just give it a, just a little eye. I think, if I'm remembering correctly, it's been a while since I've seen a horse, but I think that most horses' eyes are pretty small. So, nice. Nice tiny eyes. Every horse has ears. Now that we've perfected the head, uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the rest of the body. Every horse has four legs. Unless it's a freak. This marker is running out. Let me go ahead and switch to a red. It's, it doesn't make a difference what colors we use. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and give it one leg. Two legs. We're going to give some space for the front legs and the back legs. Three. Four. We'll, we'll focus on the hooves later. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have hooves. It makes it, it, makes it easier to tell when, it's, when you're going for a horse in your drawings. Let's go ahead and give it a butt and the rest of the body. This is where we want to be really careful to make sure that it, it matches up with where I was drawing before. So just very intricately, I'm just gonna just almost tap. And that is the basic outline of a horse. Um, we're gonna finish off a couple details. When we do the tail, details, tail. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Um, let's go ahead, almost like we're drawing a shadow. Let's just barely tap, 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 tap. Just give it a tail. Every tail is different. Every tail is different. Oh, that's perfect. Finish off the hooves. That's a horse. Thank you for watching. Uh, I would love to hear your opinions on this video. Uh, and uh, you know what, what I can do better. Uh, if you'd like to give me some feedback as well, I'm, I'm always open to that. But uh, good luck drawing your horse. I hope, I hope this was helpful.